Hey golf fans, this is early 1981 and welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a first on the channel. We are going to be playing night golf at Valhalla Golf Club. As you can see, fairways are firm, greens are normal, green speed is medium, everything else is default. We do have five tee options. We are going to be playing off the black tees, which are playing a whopping 7,719 yards. And as always, for the camera flyby purposes, pin set numero uno. Now, this course was designed by Colin Mafia. He is a designer whose work we've not played in probably a few months, so really looking forward to this one. But the fact that this is night golf, Valhalla Golf Club, like I say, this one was designed by Jack Nicholas. It is located east of Louisville, Kentucky, and it is a private golf club which opened in 1986. And how beautiful does this look, guys? Look at that oily black water. Hole 1, par 4, 452 yards, stroke index 5. I'm not going to lie, I've woke up today and I can't swing for toffee, so I don't know how this is going to go. Look out for a lot of random swings through today's round. It's actually not a bad opening tee shot. We should find the right centre off the fairway once this ball sits down. But I really do enjoy playing Valhalla Golf Club, guys. Like I say, I'm a huge fan of Jack Nicholas as a golfer and as a golf course designer. So 141 yards out. Just going to deal off this pitching wedge one or two touches. See if we can fire this at the flagstick. Pulled it left a little bit, but the wind should have enough to pull that back. It is. This should bounce forward. And then sit down very, very quickly. And that is a fantastic opening approach shot into the first green. And we do start with a birdie. But look at that sky, guys. And look at the way it made my character look there. What a fantastic idea this is from Colin Mafia. I can't ever recall playing any course at night time let alone on the channel, but hole number two, par five, playing 559 yards, stroke index 15. It's the sky and the water that really, really catches me. This is a dog leg left. Absolutely stunning looking hole. I just love that sky, guys, and the way the sky silhouettes and it makes my character or his cloven look just absolutely cool let's see if we can find fairway here there we go there's an absolute laser beam hopefully we see more of them today but my swing is kind of in a transitional period at the moment just not being happy with my swing the past seven eight rounds and just looking to to find a more consistent swing and find the technique that can help me achieve that so just looking to land this in a light rough fringe this green hopefully if we achieve that it should set up an eagle opportunity gonna to have to swing well here though 237 yards out five mile per hour wind it's actually not bad i think i've kept that within the cone we have this should check up and sit down fairly quickly might actually turn towards the cup here but that is a fantastic approach shot and we should have a very good opportunity here from six foot Green speeds are 144, and we do pick up an eagle. In the previous round, we started eagle birdie. This round, we've went birdie eagle. So, great start to this round. And we do move on to the first of the par threes here in hole number three, which is playing 202 yards, stroke index seven. Wow, it's just pitch black here. This is a fantastic idea by Colin Mafia. I actually think he's released a few. RCR courses which have been designed with the, the nighttime theme. Just deal off in this five iron, hoping to get this as close to the flagstick as possible. Ah, I've pulled it left, and that is going to stay left. Probably bunkers in play here, depending on the kick we get. Oh, that could have been worse. It could have been plugged. But like I said at the start of the round, guys, expect some weird and wonderful swing lights today. I'm sure everyone goes through that moment where you just wake up in the morning, pick up the controller and think, what am I doing here? I forgot how to swing. 
That's going to come up short. Not a bad effort, though. Could have been a lot worse. It's going to leave us with a slightly uphill putt. It's not uphill at all. It looked uphill. Very little movement in this one. Just got to keep the putt line straight. And we do pick up the first part of the round that remain at three under. So let's move on to hole number four. This is a par four. Playing 409 yards. Stroke index 11. But just look at that pitch black skies here over Valhalla. I am sure that night, night golf is a thing in America. I don't think it's quite reached Scotland. I'm not sure if it's floodlit or if it's just due to the, the far longer nights that you guys or lighter nights get compared to us. I think it's a thing in Dubai as well. Obviously they do have the weather for it. And just as I say that, the snow is absolutely fallen like you would not know at the moment outside. Just glanced out, look at my window, beautiful kick there. And it is really snowing heavily here. Great tee shot. That's going to leave us a lob wedge into this fourth green. Looks like the green's slightly uphill, so just deal off this a touch. Ball at our feet's going to move to the right. Let's see if we can put on a decent swing line here. That's decent. That should be bang on. This should bounce quite aggressively just like that and sits down on a dime and that is going to leave us a little three foot or four another birdie it's four feet this one's got a little bit of movement left to right we, we do pick up birdie number two and we do move to four under through four holes so great start to this nighttime golf here at Valhalla. But hole number five, par four, playing 490 yards, stroke index 13. This is going to be a dog leg right. But like I said earlier, it's been a while since I've played a Colin Mafia course. He is a good designer. RCRs would a speciality. Slight pull left to that, but we should have enough fairway to work with. Should just turn to the right there. But I think the last time I actually seen golf in this course was the, the Ryder Cup in 2008, which the United States defeated Europe. I think it was 16.5 to 11.5. And, and I think that was the first US win since their comeback victory in 1999. But the, the course will host the 2024 PGA Championship. Marking the fourth time the course has hosted that. But it's another fantastic swing. Just didn't turn to the right as much as I would have liked. But we are going to have a putt probably about 25 feet out. 16 feet out. Jeez, oh, my, my estimations are way off today. This is a tricky downhill putt. This is going to turn very aggressively to the right here. Just expected that ball to turn more to the right in the air and what it did. Yardage was good. It's a really good weight. Doesn't look like we've read the break as well as we could have. And that is going to leave us with a little tap in for the par. But welcome on board to all the new subscribers, guys. It's absolutely fantastic. I think we're picking up two, three subscribers a day at the moment. It's truly appreciated. Everyone who watches my videos leaves comments, leaves a like. I am truly indebted to you guys. As we do move on to hole number six, this is a long par four, playing 511 yards, stroke index nine. But just the water, the way it changed, that black water, the way it makes the, the course look completely different. Part of me combined with the, the pitch black skies and the oily black water is really fantastic. We should be able to hit driver here. Going to have to put on a nice swing line here. Wind, 5 mile per hour wind just picking up. Should take us to the right. Just setting us down the left hand side of the fairway. It's another really good swing. 
it should kick slightly over to the, the right hand side and that is probably going to leave us a 5 iron, maybe a hybrid into the 6 green. 206 yards out, but the wind is in our favour here. Let's club down to the 5 iron. That wind and the ball at our feet should naturally turn to the right. Oh, I've pushed it right. And that is going to end up right at the flagstick. Yardage should be good. I would have liked that. That would have been a fantastic shot if we didn't push that as severely as what we did. But we do have a birdie opportunity from 10 foot here. This one is going to turn slightly to the left. It is uphill, so we can't attack it. Oh, I thought for one second that was going to turn too much. But we do pick up another birdie, and we move to five under. So great start to this round. Hole number seven is a monster par five, playing 635 yards stroke in deck 17, which makes it the second easiest hole on the course. A lot of bunkers down the left-hand side here. Beautiful step stream. What a fantastic looking hole. Colin has done an absolute brilliant job with this course. Really, really impressed. He is normally very accurate with his RCRs, but the fact that he has added this night theme to the game just keeps things fresh. Oh, once again we push it to the right. But I tell you something guys, I am hopefully going to be uploading something fresh to the channel. It is a golf game. I have been playing, I purchased, my boys find their Wii U in their cupboard and they've pulled it out and started playing it. Um, just going to have to lay up with the two woods here. And I forgot how good a console it was. I mean, the Wii U was very, very good. Games like Mario Kart, Mario Brothers, things like that. Um, I used to love the, the Wii uh, Sports Resort, I think it was, with the... Oh, I've put a fast on that and pushed it right. It should counteract each other with a balance board and... You know what I mean. But, um... I was hunting for golf games because I did love Wii Golf and I found uh, Tiger Woods 12, their Masters Edition. I did not know you could get that for the Wii U. It's cost me £40. I couldn't believe it used. Seemingly they're very, very hard to come across so I did buy that and it came, it arrived promptly. Just a little pitch shot here. That should be bang on. That should bounce and then sit down. That's a fantastic pitch shot. And I have started playing it. Now, you, you can't use a controller with this. You've got to use the, the Wii Motion Plus controllers. So you've actually got a swing. So what I'm going to do is start my road to the Masters, journey to the master to try to win the green jacket. And I think we'll, we'll upload it to the, the channel. The graphics are actually really, really nice. And it's such a fantastic game. Very realistic. So leave a thumbs up if you would like to see that on the channel. Hole number eight, par three. Playing 190 yard stroke index 3. But like I say, oh, we're going to have to use that slope at the back of the pin here. Definitely try to use that slope at the back of the pin. Just aiming a wee bit left than normal because I am pushing things slightly to the right. There we go. And this is why I've been trying to change my swing, guys, because that slight push right is just annoying me all the time. When it comes to my swing line, I'm such a perfectionist. That should come back. Here, boy, come on. And it's filtering back down towards the cup, and it should be about a six-foot putt for birdie here. Seven foot. Very little movement in this way. In fact, the brakes counteracting each other. It should turn back. It does, and we do pick up another birdie. And that's what is making me think I need to change my swing, because I cannot fix this for some strange reason. I have been signed off work for two weeks, so I am going to have plenty of time on my hands. But yet, Tiger Woods 12, the Masters Edition, on the Wii U. Look out for that on the channel. Hopefully you guys are going to enjoy it. But this is the hardest hole in the course, according to Stroke Index, coming in at Stroke Index 1. It's quite a short par 4, playing 411 yards. That tree is definitely in our way. Just got to be wary of that. Just setting us down the left hand side, hoping the wind's going to bring us back a touch. It's 
It's a good swing. Oh, maybe pull that slightly left. I think we just kept that within the swing line. And we do find the left-hand side of the fairway. And this green is really uphill. We'll have to club down here. 125 yards. Let's say 135 yards. So we're going to come down to the pitching wedge. Just lofting this up a touch or two. Looking to use the right-hand side of the green here. So that wind should overpower where we've aimed. Oh, I put a fast in it. That is now going to be long and left. I was trying to use the, the sloped green to the right of the flag that would have took the ball back into towards the green. But we failed to miss that. We failed to hit that area, should I say, with the, the swing line and the swing tempo. Tricky putt from 22 feet. Down four inches. It is going to break to the right. Good putt line. That should turn. Come on. Come on. Oh, it didn't turn. I would say the first three or four feet, it didn't turn at all, despite it suggesting it was going to break to the right. But we do pick up the part. Solid front nine, to be honest, here. At Valhalla. Seven under. But hole number ten. Par five, playing 596 yards, stroke index 16. But it's amazing how just the, the, the dark sky and I would imagine Collins had to change the colour of the water um, that totally changes the the course, the outlook of a course it's absolutely stunning let's see if we can pick up birdie here we should be able to reach this green in two with driver and possibly two wood That's if we find a fairway with his tee shot. There's another fast. I think we've just about got enough fairway to work with here. Really unintentional fast there. I know at times I intentionally put a fast on my my tee shots to, to get extra distance. But that one was certainly not intentional. No, we're not going to reach this. So it's going to be another layup with a two wood. Should set us up for a pitch shot. What stay on the left hand side here? What is that? A fast push right, slow. That could kick into the heavy rough. It has done. That is a horrible swing line. And it's probably the worst place I could have been. I don't think we'll be picking up Birdie here. Let's have a look. Oh, we're 68 to 75. Just going to have to deal off this a few touches. It's going to move to the right. Oh, it's great execution. Hopefully it checks up. Come on, sit down. Sit down. Oh, why wow, that ball is gaining speed all the time. And that is going to be about a 25-foot putt anyway. 19. My guesstimations are way off today, guys. I'm just fully not with it at the moment, to be honest. Still feeling terrible. But the thought of getting a video out to you guys has given me a purpose. That should hopefully turn back. Oh, it turned back too much. It just didn't have the weight on that putt. Hate parring par fives. But after that poor approach shot, it could have been worse. And we do walk away with a par and we are going to remain at seven under par. Hole number 11, par three, playing 210 yards, stroke index two. The par threes on this course are very, very challenging. The whole course... Is there nine for being a challenging course? But I can tell you something. It's a very accurate RCR here. By Colin. Just deal off in this five iron. We've put a touch, a draw on this as well as you would have seen. Just try to draw this into the, the flag. Oh, it's a nice swing. There's the draw kicking in. This could work out really well. Unfortunately, I think the green yet yeah, turns away from the flag stick. Yardage was really good. Probably going to have an 18 to 20 foot putt. 16. This one's certainly makeable. Should be dropping this if we read it right. Just going outside the right hand side of the cup. That needs to turn back. I think it has. And that turned right into the heart of the cup. And we do pick up our first birdie. 
of the back nine and we move to eight under par. Okay. Hole number 12, par four, long par four, playing 510 yards. This one is a dog leg right. The tree line really making this a difficult hole. So our tee shot's going to have to be over on the left hand side. Bunker is awkwardly placed, I can tell you, especially in this wind, where it is going to move us to the right. It's really important you find fairway here. Don't want to put a slow on this. Just allowing the wind, the wind, just allowing the wind to turn us. Oh, it's a laser beam. Just when I needed one. The wind's turning up beautifully, and that should give us a really nice line of sight into this green. Should leave us a 5 iron, I would imagine, into this green. 206 yards out, down 12 feet, 5 mile per hour wind, diagonal, yeah, 5 iron, maybe, so let's have a look at the 6. No, 5 iron's definitely club, 6 iron's too short. So just lofting this 5 iron up, hoping the wind does enough to move us to the right, but that bunker is really, really in play here. Decent swing line, I really like this. Slightly pulled it left. Oh, that green really picks up pace as soon as the ball hits it. The way it's been designed and slopes the ball away from the pin. So a slight downhill putt here from 24 feet. This one is turning to the left from the right. I don't think we've allowed enough pace in that one. We haven't really under hit that one, but these 144 greens really suit the course. I'm so accustomed to, to fast greens, which are the 187s, that when I do come across medium or slow greens that it's not that I struggle, I just don't play them as well as I do the faster greens. But hole number 13, short par 4, playing 365 yards, stroke index 12. Once again, that oily black, tarry water. And this is going to be like an island green. This is beautiful. Colin has really done a fantastic job with this, guys. And like I say, just the... The thought of playing at night really appeals to me. Driver's going to be too much, so two wood. I think the fairway is going to kick to the left here. Oh, it's a fast and a push. I tell you what, we could be in trouble. I don't think we've got enough fairway to work with here. That needs to kick left. It doesn't. It kicks straight forward, and we trickle into the first cut which is the light rough. 87 up. I think we can play a, a normal lob wedge here. Ninety one and ninety six. So just lofting this up two touches. That wind should bring us round to the left. The ball at our feet's gonna move us to the left. Let's see if we can get this one dialed in. It's a good strike. It's a really, really good strike. And that is a fantastic approach shot. Great recovery from the rough. And it's a little tap in from three feet. This would put us to nine under par. And we move on to hole number 14. It's another par three. Lots of variations here in the par threes. But look how tight our line of sight is with these trees. You don't have you don't have a lot of error, uh, room for error off the tee box here. Wow. The trees are really dictating this shot. We've got a six mile per hour wind. Double figure winds off this tee box is really going to cause you problems with the trees. So I'm just lofting up this five hybrid, allowing the wind to, to take us round to the left. It's decent, a slight push right. 
But the wind's doing enough to bring us back. This could be good. Is this going to sit down? It does sit down. We're going to be a few feet past the cup. But what a fantastic tee shot that is. It's weird hearing birds at night, by the way, guys. In my head, I'm playing at night time. This is a straight putt. But I'm hearing the birds. And it kind of plays with your head. Due to the, the headset I've got on. But we do pick up the birdie there. And we do move to 10 under par. Let's see if we can shoot a 60 at Valhalla. It is a par 72. A 60 would be 12 under. I'd be very, very happy with that. Hole number 15, par 4, playing 445 yards, stroke index 6. And this is just proof, guys. I mean, my swing's not been terrible, but it's not been very good either. That you don't have to shoot laser straight shots, perfect tempos all the time to shoot well on courses. It's more about your decision making and knowledge of the game. It's another fantastic course. That stream, black stream, coming all the way through this. That fairway is really going to kick hard right. Don't want to put a, a finger fast would put us on the trees here. But I really believe that this fairway is going to kick hard right. I think we may have just slightly pulled that just outside the box. Yeah, we did. The wind didn't have enough to bring it round, but there's the kick right like we suggested. I'd imagine if we landed on the fairway there, that ball could have kicked all the way over to the opposite side and out of the fairway. But how beautiful are the greens, the approach shots at Valhalla. For all the detail. Nine iron for me. Just looking to land a short of the cup. I think that looks the better bet. Easier putt. Once again, slight pull. That's a, that's a messy swing. But yardage was really good. Nice. And we have been rewarded with about a four to five foot putt. Seven foot. Jeez, oh. I'm normally pretty good with my estimations, guys. Maybe the night time is throwing me off. But we do convert that birdie putt and we do move to 11 under par for the round with three holes left. The last one being a par five. Hole number 16, it's another long par 4, playing 515 yards, stroke index 10. This is a stunning course, by the way, guys. I am so, so impressed with this. This could well be one of Colin's best courses that he's put out there, in my opinion. Our tee shot, once again, is going to have to be very, very accurate. It's an absolute laser beam. Probably only our third one of the round. But I do use the my Blue Golf, guys. It is a, it's a great app just to show you how accurate course, courses are from designers. I think most of the designers do use it. It just gives you a hole-by-hole -hole guide, a digital guide, an overview shot of each hole. Oh, it's a decent strike. I tell you what. That needs to get down, needs to get down. We're going to be long, but we had a great line going into that flag. Just in between clubs there. It's going to be a long eagle putt. Eh, eagle putt, long birdie putt. You would think that the, the distance of this, this hole, it would be for eagle. Certainly breaking more to the right than it is to the left. Gave that a good firm putt. That needs to turn back. Come on. Oh... Very good read. Unlucky not to drop that one. And we do tap that in for the par. So we're going to remain at 11 under. Hole number 17 is a par 4. Playing 479 yards. Stroke index 8. Beautiful cart paths. There's the different tee boxes. I think there is. There's five different tee options. So fair play to Colin. He's gave every um, ranged golfer, different ability golfers, good options to, to play from. Especially the, with the club selections. 
It's another decent swing. This fairway should just have enough to get us up to the top. That plateau on the fairway, we've just reached the top of that. It's going to give us a nice lie to go and attack this. But oh, this is a tough shot. That bunker is really in play. I'm going to have to deal off this six iron. I would rather be long here. I certainly don't want to be in that bunker. Just going to apply a touch of drop just to get this ball turning. Oh, I'm in the bunker. That is a fast. It's a pull left. I don't know what kind of swing that is. That ball's plugged. We could well be looking at our first bogey of the round. Look at the sky there, guys. Wow. That is stunning. Just going to try and flop this out. How's it, how on earth I've got an 87 and 92 lie? I, I can't understand, but we'll go with it. Looking for about an 80% swing line here. We get that. Oh, I tell you what, what a fantastic recovery with the Etch-A-Sketch uh, doodle line there. We do tap that in for the part, and we are going to be walking down the 18th at 11 under part. I would love to shoot a 60 round this course, which would be 12 under. But this obviously is the easiest hole in the course, coming in at stroke index 18. And it is a quite a short par 5, playing 528 yards, but wow. What a fantastic final hole. It is absolutely stunning. This has been so much fun to play. Just a slight couple of changes with the, the nighttime sky and the darkened water. Like I say, just puts a different complex and of course makes you look at it different as well from a different perspective love how my character looks there with the the lighting effect in my clothing oh it's a beautiful swing it's another laser beam and that is going to leave us with an approach shot into this final green and once again, guys, I do apologise if my voice sounds silly just now or, or not right. I'm currently battling ammonia. The antibiotics should have kicked in by now, but I'm very, very breathless for, for normally a fit guy. But just looking to use that slope at the back here that you can see me zeroing in. So the only way I can get close to this pin with this club's... Great that we do have an option, though. Pushed it right, but we should still have enough to get there with that slope. Oh, we find it beautifully. This should come all the way back. I don't think it'll get all the way back to the flagstick, but it's going to get closer to the pin than we could achieve with any shot, with any club in the bag. It's going to give us an eagle opportunity. 23 feet. This one is turning to the left from the right. Would love to drain Eagle here. We've gave it a chance. That's in. Oh, it just turned off that last two feet. I fought for one second from about six feet out. That was in. But we do pick up a birdie. We do achieve a 60 round Valhalla in the night time, which is absolute fantastic. There we go. But that is it for today's video, guys. For me, that is a five star and a favorite with no hesitation at all i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did please leave a like if you are new to the channel hit subscribe button and until the next video take care peace out and love you all bye